I'm one of the two non-academics uh, in this cohort of fellows. Uh, I'm what they call a policy fellow, so I come not from academia, but from the policy world. I normally work for an international non-governmental organization. I came here mostly because I wanted to step back, step back from the hustle and bustle of my everyday work. Not that academics don't have you know, busy lives, but when you work on policy and policy advocacy, there's a kind of uh, urgency and speed to the work that we do that often means you don't get the time to really stop and reflect and zoom out, think of the big picture, read in terms of you know, catching up on the latest uh, literature on the topics that you work on. So for me, I guess you know, the most important aspect of this year has been having the space and the time to really slow down, open up my horizons, and think back about you know, the work that I've done over the policy work that I've done over the past 10, 15 years, and put it into perspective to think about, in my case, the issue of public finance. How do governments tax and spend, and how can they do it better, and how can they do it in a way that promotes societal well-being, basically. Uh, so stopping, slowing down, zooming out, think about the big picture, and then thinking about the big picture by looking at it from lots of different perspectives. So having you know, 40 people around me every day None of them really think about public finance, but all of them come from disciplines that tackle issues, problems, questions that you can think about in, in public finance terms. You know, any aspect of public policy basically has a, has a financial component to it. So you can really um, break down the, the different issues that fellows were working on from a public finance perspective. And that was very enriching uh, from, from my own way of coming to the topic and you know made me think about it in lots of different ways. So people for example made me think about what does it mean to think about environmental sustainability from a public finance perspective, what does it mean to think about race and inequality from a public finance perspective. There were lots of new ideas that came into my own uh, way of seeing the issues that I work on. Uh, that came into the toolbox that I use from a methodological standpoint uh, and, and got enriched by these exchanges. Mm -hmm.